Hey everyone. Um, it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. One, because one, because my computer um, it was just getting old and instead of getting a new computer I decided that I was going to buy a tablet. So I bought me a tablet instead of a computer and so I've been taking the last month or two to um, figure it out, get it set up, um, and make it work for my lifestyle. And to be quite honest, I love a tablet compared to using a, uh, a laptop or a desktop computer. It seems to make life so much easier because everything you want is at the touch of your hands, unlike a computer. And it goes everywhere with me now. Um, but anyway, when when I did my last video, sorry, I just got off work. Um, when I did my last video, I did the video based on my opinions of. Um, a touchy topic that a lot of people probably don't agree with um, and I respect them for that it's completely understandable um, but I did the video on being in a polyamorous relationship and for those of you who did not watch that video um, and don't know what I'm talking about a polyamorous relationship is where you pretty much love more than one person now, the way I wanted it to work was just me, my primary partner, the one that I've been with the longest, and then the new guy that I added in, which I'm not going to say his name um, for privacy reasons. I just wanted it to be us three. And the new guy, he wanted to sleep with God knows who, he wanted to have unsafe sex, he pretty much wanted to live the stereotypical polyamorous relationship, which, for number one, I have nothing against it, but I refuse to be a part of it. It's just the way I am. I'm not comfortable with the idea myself. Uh, if that's what you want to do, then by God, you're not with me. Do it. That's just how I feel. I don't disrespect it, and I don't have anything against it. It's just not the lifestyle that I'm fit for. Um, because I don't want to take those kind of risks. And no offense to anybody, but when you sleep with random people, it is putting you at risk of catching HIV, AIDS, all kinds of stuff. But that's besides the point. I loved the kid. He was sweet from the beginning. I thought it was going to work. Well, it didn't. He decided that he was going to mess around with other people, that he was um, a dark witch. He practiced um, very, very dark spells and witchcraft. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and say that I've never done dark witchcraft myself. But there is a limit, and I don't use it for mere pleasure. He did. I don't enjoy hurting people. I only do dark spells if I feel the need to, if I feel the need to protect myself, protect others, so on and so forth. If it's the right thing to do, I'm going to do it. Um, but I'm not going to do it just because I am angry or just because I want to see someone hurt. And he's like that. And so I decided to get him out of my life and he chose to leave on his own. So it worked out. Um, but I guess the lump sum of this video, because I don't want to make it too long, is that I am no longer in a polyamorous relationship, a triad relationship, whatever you want to call it. I, Me and my partner still are interested in having a third partner, if there's anyone out there that's interested also. Um, I know that's a long shot, but... I figured I'd go ahead and say something about it. Um, 
but please be of age, be over the age of 21, be somewhat mature, know what you want in life, have goals, have dreams, don't be emo, don't, <laughs> don't say you're going to kill yourself just because someone gets on to you or because someone says something you don't like. He was that way and it got old. It was at the point where I felt bad because I was saying do it. If you hate your life that damn bad, then please just do it and get it over with and stop bringing that negativity around me. Now, I understand that people are going to get depressed, people are going to get upset, but my God was he depressing. Everything was fuck this and fuck that. Everything was negative. Everything was bad. <clears throat> Every time you turned around, he wanted someone else to get hurt magically. And it, it just got old. It got to the point where I said, fuck it. I'm done. I can't listen to this negativity no more. I would like to smile every so often. You see what I'm saying? It, it just became too much. Um, but yeah, he's living with a group of people that um, I and my partner no longer have communications with. Um, because they're negative as well. They just act like they're not until you get in their little cult. Um, so yeah, we are no longer polyamorous until we find someone else that fits our qualifications, fits our needs as a couple. Um, that respects us, that wants to be there for us, that wants to help us, and that we connect with on a spiritual, emotional level. We are not people that hook up, we're not into the whole fuck buddy thing or whatever you want to call it, and we're certainly not sluts. We want someone that's going to love us just as much as we love them, but they also have to understand that I'm not leaving Josh, and Josh will never leave me. That's just the way it is. So if you want to be in our life, be in our life, and don't bring drama into it as well. Come with an open mind, an open heart, and be positive about it. Know that not every day is going to be easy. Yeah, we're going to fight. Yeah, we're going to have arguments. Yeah, we're not going to get along at all times. But... Me and Josh do not cheat. We will never hurt you. And that's the same words that I told this kid. And it wasn't good enough. No matter how much energy I was putting into the relationship or Josh, nothing was good enough for him. I tried. I worked my ass off at my job. I pulled extra hours, everything. To be able to get him stuff, to make him happy, to take him out to eat, to really give him, you know, the benefit of the doubt, to make him really see what it's like to live, um, to have fun, and to just get away from everything. And it wasn't good enough, so it's whatever. But yeah, we're still interested in finding someone else, and we will have someone else. It's just going to take some time, and I guess that's pretty much the lump sum of this video is to say that if there's anyone out there that is interested in a triad or triad relationship, which is just me, Josh, and you, then by all means, leave a comment. You can find me on Facebook, um, which I'll put a link below this video um, if I remember to. Uh, to my Facebook, so feel free to add me, feel free to add my partner, um, and we'll see what happens from there. So, until then, may the goddess be with you, I love you all, and blessed be.